Hey, how's it going? So I have another unboxing. It's from Level Edges. But this time we're not focusing on the concrete obstacles. Let's check it out. So this is interesting. I don't think I've ever gotten one of these Level Edges boxes. I mean, it's a plain way. I've never gotten one of these stamps. So as you can see, it's packaged very well. This is a good box. I'm keeping that box. It has potential. For those who don't know, Level Edges, he also makes fingerboards. And I picked two of them up, but first we'll get into the extras because from what he told me, when you buy a board, you get a curb. And he didn't want to send me two curbs, so he subbed a, a pole jam for me. That is a nice curb. So these were the extras for ordering the decks. So we have the parking block. I think it's really cool. We have the level edges logo right there. It is already equipped with non sliders. And here is the pole jam. And here is the pole jam. It looks super solid this one also already does have some non sliders equipped we got the level edges logo right there let's check these decks out so he does have two molds i got one of each there is the raptor mold and the bronto mold which i think the difference is the concave i think they both have medium kicks so this is the packaging does come in a little baggy so inside the bag we got one sheet of grip two stickers and of course the deck. So here's the top ply. It is gonna be a pink top ply and it does say level 34. This is a 34 millimeter wide deck. Once again, this one right here, this is gonna be the Raptor shape and it's gonna have medium kicks, medium concave and defined dips is what it said. Now I was like, what's the R for Raptor? That's what it's for. And here's the bottom ply. This has like this really, really cool dinosaur graphic. I like it a lot. I like this graphic a lot. I like dinosaurs. There is an Allosaurus, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus, Triceratops. I'm guessing that's a Brontosaurus. And I think this thing, the one with the single horn is called a S Stiasosaurus? Stiasaurus? And then a Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus spitting one the one that got that one dude with the shaving cream and here's the next deck this one we have a b for the bronto mold and we have the 34 and a dust a level right here with the same pink top ply and we do have a pink bottom ply as well and this graphic right here i believe this one was called the level man but i'm not 100 sure it says stay level right here got the level edge logo right here i think it's really cool I like having fingerboards with companies and just has their logo on there. Or not just their logo, but you know, the logo is something that's on on the deck like this with the graphic. I think it's really cool. I think both of these decks are super, super cool. So now I got the dinosaur graphic to shred, the level man to stay looking classy in the collection. So Time for my favorite part is setting this fingerboard up. So here's the deck all set up. Quick breakdown. We do have black velvet up top. The deck is going to be a 34 millimeter Raptor mold from Level Ledges. Trucks are BRTs. Wheels are cartwheels. These are the V3 Megas. And I put the bushings in here. They're the medium whites from Black River. I like it. Clean. Clean. So the deck feels amazing. At first, when I first put my fingers on it, it did feel a lot more mellow than what I'm used to, but I like the like aggressive shapes. But this deck works just, this deck works fantastic. Uh, we'll use the curb. Yeah, that'll do.
there we go. The curb's a lot lower than the rail. Okay, okay. Let's check out the pole jam. That's really fun. What about this one? That feels cool too. So both these obstacles feel great. The deck feels great. And something I forgot to mention, the the L wax. I've tried a few different kinds of like fingerboard wax and by far this is my favorite. I'm still using like the first one that I got from my first order. And then I do have the one from my last order waiting. And then I got, so I think I'm stocked when it comes to fingerboard wax but I really like that one. So this is my most recent order from Level Edges. Very surprised that he still makes the decks. I've seen them on his Instagram, but I've never seen them like in stock on his website. So so maybe, maybe if he gets quite a few DMs asking about some fingerboards, maybe they'll make that return on the website because I definitely recommend this, uh, this Raptor mold right here. It feels really, really comfortable. And then as usual, the curb, the pole jam, any of the obstacles, you can't go wrong when it comes with level edges. Definitely recommend checking them out for concrete obstacles, for decks. It's, it's all really, really, really solid. I'll have the link to his Instagram as well as his website down in the description below so you can stay up to date with whatever he has going on and you'll know the next time some more obstacles get restocked on the site. If he's dropping anything new, you'll you'll know about it. And I'll have my Instagram down there as well. Give me a follow. I do go live from time to time, usually later on in the evening. However, that'll do it for now. Take it easy. Have a good one.